you home. I have music on in my head, but not in my house. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good morning. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Music on in my head, but not in my house. You hold my hand. Hey y'all, good morning. How y'all doing? Hey Candace. Hey Auntie, how y'all doing? Hey Instagram. Good morning. I am going to bless the Lord <laughs> with all my soul this morning because I could tell my laptop was lagging and I'm just so grateful for um, different modes of technology and God giving me a heart and a desire for it because um, it was a little crazy. And so I didn't even have to rely upon it. I was able to switch to my phone to make sure I had good lighting. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? I see y'all coming in. Man, y'all coming in quick. Hey, Andre. Hey, baby. How you doing? Hey, Katina. I'm going to do a little shout out. Hey, Gary Green. Let me do a few shout outs this morning first. Hey, Paula. Hey, Andre. Hey, Tracy. Good morning, Connie. Hey, Arnetta. Hey, Deshaun. I see y'all this morning. Good morning. What's up, Odell? Good morning. How y'all doing? What's up, Instagram fam? Good morning to y'all this morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Do me a favor. Go share the video right now. Go put it in somebody else's hands. Drop it off. Um, share it with them. And experience the power of God. Uh, well, somebody else, one of my other warriors is in pain right now too. And I'm going to deal with that. We're going to take authority over that pain this morning. We're not living in pain. That's not your story. And I'm tired of that rising again in your life. And you're broken from that. The funny thing is, uh, this morning we're going to pray and talk a little bit about generational curses. Um, I know without a doubt we won't walk in our full authority or in the authority that we're supposed to walk in. Because we don't feel like we're worthy to live life in the spirit. And so that's why I told you anytime the enemy can get us linked up with sin then he knows that uh we won't walk in the full place authority and so anytime he's allowed us to uh deviate from living life in the spirit then we are almost like in a weakened state uh sin for us is almost like kryptonite and nobody really talks to us about it from that place they'll be like oh repent you know which is cool which is you're supposed to but what i found out it does it does is it leaves me in a place where i won't walk in my fullness and my power when i'm supposed to so this morning we're going to continue in our journey we're getting back into romans 8 but we also have <laughs> thank, thank you Alyssa. Alyssa, um we also need to walk in authority and talk in authority and understand that a life in a spirit, a life of a spirit is us walking. Yes. In our fullness and our power and our authority. And when that thing rises, that we curse it at the, the root that we walk a life in the spirit and a life in the spirit gives us spiritual authority over our every circumstance and every situation. Yesterday, Judah had woke up and he was like, man, my stomach is bothering me, mother. My stomach is hurting me. And I said to him, I said, Judah, get up your bed and walk. Get out your bed and walk. I had already took authority. I had already prayed over him. I said, if you just continue to lay down in that thing, it's going to continue to take root or take authority. So I'm telling you, get your butt up and get up out that bed and walk. And he finally got up. 
And I think his stomach bothered him a little bit more later that day. But after that, he was like, absolutely not. And he walked in his authority. It's funny to see uh, the power of God working in their lives and to see them walking in their authority and taking root over things. So, oh, good morning. Thank you from Nigeria. God bless you. Um, on Nimisi. Okay, thank you from Nigeria. Good morning and welcome. Um, do me a favor, we're getting ready to get started. If this is your first time on Coffee and Conversations, welcome to Coffee and Conversations with Lakeisha. I am your girl, LMJ, right now on the scene, um, host of Coffee and Conversations, a uh, real talk with LMJ. You want to find out more about me, you can log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com. I am also um, on JoyNet Radio, um, and I share a segment called Relationship Realities on RejoiceLittleRock.com. So welcome. Do me a favor. Go share the video right now. Put it in someone else's hands. Let's stir up the internet today in the power of the Holy Ghost. If we can share other stuff, if we can share other pictures, if we can share other other things going on, then my God, let's share the word this morning. Let's share the word this morning. So I'm just so grateful for the word. We're getting ready to get into prayer and then we're going to get into work. Hey, I also released on the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com. I am doing a small space this morning called Saturday called You Are Your Brand. I told you guys, for some of you who don't know, I do purpose coaching. You are your brand uh, for all ministry partners. It's $20. It's $25. It's two hours. It's going to impact you. It's going to encourage you and it's going to increase your capacity as an entrepreneur. Limited space. Um, the link is available on the website, so go and get registered um, for that today. Go get registered for that today. Don't wait. Be Saturday morning via Zoom from nine to eleven. So uh, let's let's let blessings to you. Yeah, let's let's get in the word. Let's get ready to pray. Let's get our corporate uh, today. We're going to be praying and talking about breaking generational curses, and we're talking. We're going to be talking about living life in the spirit. And walking through the word of God. A lot of times uh, we, um, I'm going to say how the Lord told me this morning. He was like, a lot of times we want a lot of hype, but we don't want anything that's going to teach us to walk in our full authority. And life in the spirit is going to teach you how to walk in your full authority. That's why we've been learning about how important the Holy Spirit is to us. How important it is for us to govern ourselves and life by the spirit and not life flesh and we know that life in the flesh is enmity against God and dealing with generational curses and dealing with things that have been long standing in our family and nobody had the boldness to be able to speak against and nobody had the boldness to say it stops here and nobody had the boldness to identify. Uh, we have had several people uh, die of cancer in our family and it's just seemed to be accepted. And there are a few of us that are like, cancer is not going to be our history. Cancer is not going to be our story and it seems almost glorified sometimes like people be like oh you know so and so had cancer no i'm not getting ready to glorify cancer i'm not getting ready to act like cancer um has some supreme or some significance or oh i fought with cancer no 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 i'm not that's not that's not what we're gonna live and that's not what we're gonna do and so today when we pray, we're going to be praying for generational curses to be broken, that we come into the fullness of who we are and understand who we are through the spirit, the spirit of us, the spirit of God in us um, gives us the authority and power to trample on serpents, to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick, um, to walk together. No, there's nothing to celebrate about sickness, to walk in our full power and authority according to the word. That's one of the reasons we We've been praying for children corporately for too long. We've allowed generational things to keep occurring with our children. And it's like, no, these things don't keep um, occurring with our children. We're going to unmask the enemy's lies. We're going to come out of agreement. We're going to come out of a agreement and alignment with what we've allowed to be permissible for way too long. So 
I want you to just pause for a second. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to search your heart, to give you revelation of generational curses in your family. And I want you to renounce any agreement that you have come in alignment with where these generational curses are have been concerned. Anytime you signed off, Anytime you've just accepted it, even every time you've said it's the way of life, I don't care what it is. Don't be afraid to address the issue. Don't be afraid to think you don't have power or authority. That's what the Lord showed me this morning. He said, people don't think they have power and authority because maybe they've deviated. Maybe they were uh, endorsed it. Maybe they were caught up in sin. So when we caught up in those things, we think we don't have the power or the authority um, to walk or to deal with those. And we continue to walk in those same generational curses. I, I need to walk in generational blessings. I'm not interested in walking generation. And I got a testimony for you. We took authority over cancer. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we stood in the cancer and I got two testimonies last night where the, where the doctors thought that it was cancer and both tests came back that it was not cancer, that it was not cancer. And so I know when we took authority that the spirit of the Lord worked and their bodies were transforming to what the word said and not what this world said or not what we've accepted. And I'm telling you, my mom called me yesterday and said both reports were not cancer and were cancer free. So that's it. Oh, thank you for that, Ronald. And so, I mean, I'm just like, come on, God, we just renounced. And the Holy Spirit had to be bring that back to my room remember, we just renounced cancer. We just came out of alignment. So I want you in your spirit, just let the Holy Spirit search your heart for a second, show you the things that you come in alignment with, show you the things that you've signed off on or that you've sealed or that you've said is a part of your life that really is not a part of your life and that you do not have to accept as a part of your life. You do not have to accept poverty. You do not have to accept sexual moral immorality that goes with incest, homosexual, anything tied. You do not have to accept broke, brokenness. You do not have to accept anything that has been generation. You don't have to accept divorce in your life. You don't have to accept broken families. You don't have to accept the struggle with mental illness. You don't have to accept those as your story, a part of your story, or a part of your journey, you get to decide today that by the life in the spirit, I'm going to take authority over the generational curses that have been plaguing my family, that have been a part of my situation that I've even signed off on. The Lord was telling me we co-sign on things all the time. And he was showing me even uh, a like, like a like on a Facebook, a like on an Instagram means we co-sign on that, means we approve that, means we say that's okay. And it's like, no, I'm done signing off to Satan's work. I'm done signing off and saying things are okay that don't align with God's word and that are not going to bring God glory. If it's not going to bring God glory, it's not a get according to his word. And the word of God tells us whatever we bind on earth, we can bind in heaven and whatever we loose on earth, we can loose in heaven on in heaven. And so we're standing according to that scripture in Matthew today that we are going to bind the strong man up and we're going to loose. We're going to walk into the authority and the power that God has given us in Christ Jesus. Um, Matthew 7 and 8 for says, for everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone knocks on the door, the door will be open. So we're knocking on God's door today, um, uh, de declaring today that all generational curses are being broken right now in Jesus' name. We don't have to accept family dysfunction. We don't have to believe this is the way that our lives are supposed to live and this is the way that things are supposed to work for us. We don't have to do that. That's what living life in the spirit has been teaching us. That's why it's important for you to live life in the spirit and not life in the flesh. Because if you live life in the flesh, then he's just going to keep, it's like a, a womb. He's just going to keep tapping into that womb 
and keeping you in the position in which you won't walk in authority. No, we're done being the walking wounded. We're going to set a corporate anointing. We're going to deal with generational curses. We're going to search our hearts and ask the Lord, Father God, we just, just show us anyway in any place we've come in alignment. And we're going to learn to walk in the spirit. And we're going to renounce it right now in Jesus name. So let's just pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for your word this morning. I thank you for every family represented. I thank you for every person represented, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that your word has the final say so, Father God. We thank you, Father God, you have made us the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, lenders and not borrowers, redeemed from every curse of the law, every manner of sickness, every manner of disease, Lord God. Jesus has already redeemed us from those curse, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for giving us a life in the spirit, for giving us revelation knowledge, for giving us wisdom, Father God, for giving us power, for giving us your glory, Lord God. And we just thank you, Father God, that your word goes forth today. Now, Father God, we repent. We repent for any generational curse that we've aligned with our life. We repent for accepting poverty. We repent for accepting divorce. We repent for accepting low morale. We repent for lining up and accepting low self-esteem. We repent, Lord God, for accepting, Father God, generational curses, cancer and sickle cell and diabetes, Lord God. We repent for accepting, saying this is the only way in lewdness and crudeness, Lord God. Father God, we repent and come out of covenant with those things, lack and poverty and doubt, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We come in fear, Lord God, and abandonment and rejection Lord God, we come out of alignment and dysfunction and mental illness and mental health, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, and come out of alignment and broken families, Lord God, and ADHD, Lord God. We come out of alignment with those things right now and Crohn's disease, Father God, and HIV and AIDS, anything that has been in our bloodline, anything that has been accepted as the truth, Lord God, incest, Lord God. We come out of alignment with those things right now in Jesus' name name, Father God. And we repent if we signed off on anything that does not give you a glory, Father God. We repent right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we bind the strong man back to the gates of hell from which it came. You have no more presence in our life. You have no more authority in your life. And we resist the spirit of resistance right now in Jesus' name. And we curse it at the root, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. All generational curses are broken, are severed at the tide, are severed at the root. Right now, we will have healthy relationships. We will have healthy marriages. We will be and one and sound mind with our kid. We will walk according to principles. We will walk according to authority. We will walk in our righteousness. We will live a life by the spirit. We curse the spirit of religion off our life, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We are rejoicing in you. We thank you. We are full of joy. We are walking in a fullness and a sound mind. We recurse and reject lack and poverty, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you are restoring our joy joy, Lord God. You are giving us revenues, Lord God. You are opening doors that people said were impossible to open in our lives. We stand steadfast in this corporate anointing, Lord God. You said we're two or more gathered in your name. You are in the midst. We curse the root of cancer. We curse the root of sickle cell. We curse the root of pain. We curse the root of fibromyalgia. We curse the root of dysfunctional families. We curse it and bind it back to the gates of hell from which it came. We loose it. Father God, from our lives and set it free back in the pits of hell. It no longer has authority in our lives. We thank you, Father God. We operate in soundness of mind. We operate in your spirit. We operate in your truth. We operate in the Holy Spirit. We will no longer live in a less than state. <laughs> We will no longer live in a less than state. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Father God, open the eyes of our heart, Lord God. In the places where we've been hardened, give us a heart of flesh. Let, let, let nothing but your word become the standard in our lives. Let nothing but your word become the standard in our truth. We thank you for relief coming today, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, you are releasing finances today, Lord God. You are releasing home ownership today, Lord God. You are 
releasing marriages being restored today, Lord God. You are releasing and families being put back together on today, Lord God. You are releasing wholeness and you are releasing soundness of mind, Lord God. You are releasing your peace and your joy. You, we, you are releasing your protection today, Lord God. We stand in the gap. We stand in the authority for our bloodlines right now in the name of Jesus. Mental health is not the story in our family. And we thank you, Lord God. We're walking in the fullness, Father God, of everything you called us to be and everything you called us to walk in. We thank you, Father God, that we have vision and we have purpose, Lord God, and we have peace and we have joy, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, you are bringing us up out of the ashes, Lord God, that you are restoring us, oh oh, Lord, and everything that the cankerworm and the locust has eaten and devoured is being restored to us today. We thank you, Father God, for the eyes of our understanding. We thank you for giving us ears to hear. We thank you, Father God, we are severing the ties to those generational curses that begin to plague our family for years. Freedom is coming to us today. Freedom is coming to our children today. We thank you, Lord God, our children are beginning to excel and do well in school and your word is the standard for their lifestyle. We thank you, Lord God. We no longer sign off on cultural principles and cultural ideologies and cultural thought processes, Lord God, but we sign off on your word today, Lord God. We sign off on your word today and we declare today in the name of Jesus that you are breaking all generational curses over our life and restoring us, Lord God, for your name is great, for your glory, for your purpose, for you are a good, good father. You are a good, good father. You are a good, good father. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, healer. We thank you, provider. We thank you, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord of Lords. We thank you, great I am. We thank you, Adonai. We thank you, Jehovah Shammah. We thank you, Jehovah Rapha. We thank you, Jehovah Rohi. We thank you, Ola. Home. We thank you, Makadesh. We thank you, Lord Jehovah Sadiknu. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, El Shaddai. We thank you, Great I Am. We thank you, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord of Lord. Now, Father God, give them a vision of your righteousness. Give them a vision of your holiness. We thank you, Father God. They are being filled with your fruit of your spirit, with joy, with love, with peace, with goodness, with faithfulness, and with self-control. We thank you, Father God, every stronghold is broken, is destroyed right now in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. The blood still works. We seal this prayer. We seal this day in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, that your blood is working and breaking all curses and setting a hedge of protection around us. We thank you, Father God, that there will be no recompense from the even enemy, Father God, for recompense and justice is yours. We thank you. You are just fair, God. You are reversing every decision, my God. You have been reversing every decision. Jesus, we thank you. You are in the inner courts. We thank you. You are in the inner courts and that we are justified according to your blood. We are justified according to your blood. We thank you, Lord God. You sit in the inner courts, Lord God. We renounce witchcraft. My God, we renounce idolatry, Lord God. Why, my God, lewdness, crudeness, Father God. We renounce those now. Lord God, we thank you. You set the captive free. Fear, doubt, and worry. We renounce those now. And we declare today, today we experience your peace. My God, your protection, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. We thank you for the corporate anointing on this prayer. We seal this prayer today. We thank you, Father God, that the enemy cannot come against us. We bind the strong mountain man back to the gates of hell. We thank you that there is a hedge of protection us over our mind, spirit, soul, and body. We thank you, Father God, for your perfect peace. We curse the root of cancer, command it to dry up. Say it will never, ever, ever be there again in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. My God, we thank you. 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 My God, we thank you. 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 Life in the spirit. 
lets us know without a doubt we're able to walk in that authority at all times. So when you see something rise up against your family, when you see something rise up against your home, when you see something that does not align with this word, take authority over it, right? In the name of Jesus and just speak to it in the name of Jesus. If it looks like something is coming up against your finances, that's why it's so important for you to be in tuned in the Holy Spirit. And then what you don't have the authority over, it says the Holy Spirit will make groanings for you. Remember, the Holy Spirit is here to help you. John 14, 26 says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you of all things and remind you of everything I have told you. So even if you came in alignment with it, the battlefield between the heart and the spirit is your mind. Do not allow the enemy to continue to play with your mind, to think you don't have the authority. No, you have the authority and that authority comes from living and accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Now, if you haven't accepted life in Jesus as Lord and Savior, let's get to that right now. But you have the authority in the name of Jesus. It came with you accepting him as Christ, as Lord and Savior. You, The minute you accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, you became filled with the Spirit. Stop letting the enemy lie to you, making you think you ain't got no authority over your household, making you think you ain't got no authority over your children, making you ain't think you ain't got no authority over your finances. If you come in alignment with something, if you signed off on something, if you gave permission to something, just go ahead and repent of it. <laughs> just go ahead and repent of it. Go ahead and ask God's forgiveness for it. Set, reset that thing and get it. Roman 8, 26 says, in the same way, the spirit also joins to help in our weakness because we do not know what to pray for as we should, but the spirit himself intercedes for us with unspoken groanings. And when you have a circumstance or a situation that comes up against you and you don't know what to say, ask the Holy Spirit to come in. Do not be wise in your own eyes. You don't have to pretend like you know what to say or you have the right words to say. That's been a part of our problem. His desire is to help and transform us into the image of Christ. Well, what was the image of Christ? Our, 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 our brother Jesus, he had full authority. He walked in his full authority. That's why when the enemy was tempting him or trying to tempt him, Jesus was like, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I ain't got time for that because this is what the word says. So let the word do the work for you. Let the Holy Spirit do the word for you and remind yourself there's no condemnation. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. I've already been redeemed from this. I get to walk in the spirit. I get to walk in my authority. I get to take authority over situation. There's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. There's nothing that can separate me. Even if I mess up, I'm going to get on my face. I'm going to get right before God. I'm going to repent. And we cannot be defeated. That's what we're going to learn. That's what we're going to learn in chapter 8. We cannot be defeated. <laughs> We cannot be defeated. Jesus already bore our condemnation. Isaiah 53 and 5 tells us that. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. That's why anytime we start talking about, when you tell me, pray for me, I'm going to pray for you. But what scripture are we standing on? Get you some scriptures and stand on them. Get you some scriptures and stand on them. I don't care if you know, but two or three pertaining to your situation, because that's how the devil is going to flee. If you want to resist the devil so he can flee, he's going to, he's going to flee according to the word. He's not going to flee according to you crying. He's not going to flee according to you whining. He's not going to flee according to you mumbling. He's not going to flee according to you complaining. He's going to flee because you assert yourself in the word. <laughs> you assert yourself in the word. So when he starts telling you something about your children, you're going to turn around and say, oh, no, 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 no. My children are an inheritance of the Lord and great is their peace and their undisturbed composure. And every time a situation arises where your kids are concerned, you're going to bring that scripture 
up. And when something looks funny in your finances, you're going to say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm a tither. I'm a giver. I'm a seesaw. The Lord says, give and it shall be given unto me. Press down, shaking together, shall men give unto my bosom. There's an open heaven above me. You're going to take authority according to the word. When sickness comes against your body and the doctor tell you there's an unfavorable report and they're saying to you, you're going to say, no, 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 no. You see my t-shirt? No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. I, I, I'm not receiving it. Cancer is not my story. Crohn's disease is not my story. Diabetes. When they tell you your kids have ADHD, you're going to say, no, 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 no. We don't have ADHD in this house. All of my kids are going to be able to sit down. They're going to operate in self-control. And then you're going to ask the wisdom from the Holy Spirit. When they start telling you your kids can't be no better than this, you're going to tell them, no, thank you. No, 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 no. That is not my truth. That is not my story. That is not what I'm walking in. You're going to get scripture and you're going to stand steadfast on it. And you're going to build your mind up in the word. And when you feel weak, you're going to put some more word in you. <laughs> you're going to put some more word in you. You're going to pack this word in until the the devil flees because the only way he's going to flee is that you are store stand on the authority. He counted on the fact, I'm going to say this and then we're going to get off here. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't have enough word in you. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't press in on the things of God. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't understand your righteousness. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't know who Jesus was. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't come into salvation. He counted on the fact that you would stay ignorant and not of truth. He counted on the fact that you wouldn't live a life of the spirit. He counted on the fact that you would stay in your sin. He counted on the fact that that was going to be your truth, but he didn't realize, come on, that Jesus was going to put a laborer, come on now, that Jesus was going to put a laborer in the field, that Jesus was going to put somebody in place, that Jesus was going to put somebody in your way, that Jesus was going to let you come and counteract with somebody who would be bold enough to speak the truth, to love on you, to pray you on through. He counted on the fact that some Somebody wouldn't rise up and get in place. No, he thought wrong. He thought wrong. He counted on the fact that you would remain ignorant. He counted on the fact. He counted on the fact you wouldn't understand your righteousness, that you wouldn't receive it to be true. Let me tell you this. Romans 8, 5, 8 says, those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, right? Sickness, disease, poverty. The flesh wants you to be in those things because it's enmity against the spirit. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. And if the spirit desires prosperity and the spirit desires love and the spirit desires peace and the spirit desires joy and the spirit desires long suffering and the spirit desires self-control and the spirit desires goodness, and the spirit desires truth, then we're going to live according to the spirit. The mind governed by the flesh is death. We're not living more according to the flesh anymore, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. So when you have your mind and it's governed by the spirit, you're going to sit in life and peace. <laughs> you're going to trust in the Lord. Yeah. With all your heart, lean not into all your understanding and all acknowledge him and he's going to direct my path. Why? Because that's what the word says. That's what a life governed by the spirit looks like. That's what a life governed by the spirit is. It's hostile. We're not living a life hostile to the spirit anymore. We're going to be hostile to this flesh and we're going to be hostile to this flesh and the word. So you don't, you don't let the enemy count you out. You don't let the enemy say this is the truth and this is your story and you've always been a divorcee and you're not going to ever come into the fullness of who you are. He's been lying to you. He's been lying to you. He's a cheater. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He wanted you depressed, consumed, overwhelmed, in a state thinking you had no victory when all your victory came in with Christ Jesus. When all your victory came in with Christ Jesus. It's a promise when you accepted Christ as, as, as Savior. It's a promise. He's been lying to you all along. He's been presenting situations to you, making you think that this was it. 
He counted you out. But he, what he didn't count on was the fact that when Christ got on the cross, come on now, that when Christ got on the cross, when he went to the grave, he stole back the keys and that he would give an authority to us in Christ Jesus that would give us eternal life. Come on now. That would give us power and authority here on earth earth that would allow us to walk in the fullness of who we are. That's the revelation in the word. That's where the generational curse gets broken because you make a decision to live life in the spirit and not life in the flesh. That's when the generational curse is done. That's when it's broken. No more life in the flesh. No more life in the flesh. Today, Lord God, we will live life by your spirit. We will live according to your word because we cannot please you if we live life in the flesh. My God, my God. That's it. My God, my God. Thank you. Thank you. My God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. I thank you for your word today. Stand up in the truth. Stand up in the word. Refuse to deal with the enemy on his level. Refuse to deal with the enemy on his level. Don't deal with him in the flesh. Deal with him, not by might, nor by power, but by your, my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. You ain't got to deal with this thing like you've been dealing with this thing no more. Done. We done with dealing with this. We done with living in the flesh. We're done with living by the flesh. We're going to live life by the spirit. That's what's going to break generational curses. I love y'all. I got to go. I love y'all. I got to go. My God, my God, I thank you. My God, my God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. 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 We are not going to war according to the flesh. We're going to war according to the spirit. Even when we don't feel like it, even when we don't feel like it, we're not going to war according to the flesh. We're going to war according to the spirit. If something doesn't align, does not look like a life in the spirit, then we're not going to deal with it according to the flesh. We're going to deal with it according to the spirit. My God, I thank you. Father God, I thank you for your presence among your people. My God, we repent for warring, my God, according to the flesh. We repent, Lord God, for warring according to the flesh, Father God. Please forgive us. Holy Spirit, lead us. Lead us the rest of our lives. Lead our children, my God. Lead this nation. Lead our cities. Lead our government officials. And lead our state. Holy Spirit, lead your spirit of God like a fire. Consume us, my God. Burn up anything in us that does not line up with with the word of God. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. Manifest your glory in our life. We will no longer war according to the flesh, Lord God. We take authority in Christ Jesus in the spirit and we thank you for the blood. We thank you for Jesus dying on the cross. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for your love for us. We thank you for the power that only comes from on high. My God, no more warring in the flesh, Lord God. We will only war according to the spirit, my God, in Jesus' name. Amen. My God, my God, my God, my God. I love y'all so much. I love y'all. 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 I love the Father. I'm so grateful to the Father. I'm so grateful. All generational curses destroyed and broken. You are free. Accept your freedom right now in Jesus' name. Yes, 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 yes. He is Jehovah Elohim Israel, the God of Israel and he is Jehovah Elohim. Ah, my God of Lakeisha. He is the God of Lakeisha and we are in the Abrahamic covenant and promise. You better get full of this word today. Oh my God, my God, I got to let it go. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, I thank you, 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 I thank you. Jesus is on the scene. Jesus is on the scene. Jesus is on the scene. You are free in Christ Jesus. Don't let him oppress your mind. Renew your mind in the word. Let the spirit guide you. Let the spirit direct you. Let the spirit lead you. Slow yourself down. 
Take you some deep breaths and choose the word of God over anything. That's the life in the spirit. I love y'all so much. Every generational curse is broken. I thank you, Lord God, for giving us daily bread. I thank you for meeting every need. I thank you for, for by your stripes we are healed. And I thank you that the word is not broken and that this three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cord strand, my God, cannot be broken. And every word that was spoken here is being planted in our hearts, Lord God, and that we are changing lives and making impact according to your influence, even in the government. My God, even in the governments of the world, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord of Lords. We thank you, Great I Am. We thank you, peace. We thank you for protection, my God. Your will and your wisdom, my God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Glory to God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, my God. I will see y'all back here in the morning at 5 a.m. Expect a word of God. Expect a, a, the peace of God. Expect the joy of God. Expect the love of God. Expect him. Accept, yeah, that's good. Accept your freedom right now in the name of Jesus because you are free in Christ Jesus released right now from every generational curse. I love y'all so much. Get connected to the ministry. We're going to receive, we're going to send out a devotional, uh, in just a few minutes. Get connected. LakeishaMJohnson.com. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all back here in the morning at 5 a.m.